everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Young Elizabeth wanted nothing more than to teach. Her passion for education shone through her academics and excelled in anything she set her mind to. Sadly, when her father passed away when she was 15, she dropped her studies to care for her mother and four younger siblings. By the age of 20, she was finally able to go and receive her teaching degree at École Normale in Laval. Again, the dream was halted when her health began to decline. Elizabeth had to resign after the first year to regain her health and focus on recovery. After needed rest, Elizabeth tried to return to her dream of teaching and offered a private class at Saint Roche, but unfortunately had to give up once again due to her poor health. She began to grow restless and knew that a new approach was needed in her life. Asking for the intercession of Saint Anne, Elizabeth promised she wouldn't ask for a single penny from anyone she taught if she could be healed of her ailments. She just wanted to teach for the pure love of knowledge. It was around this time that she also began seriously discerning the call to religious life she had felt in her heart since she was a little girl. On September 12, 1879, Elizabeth took her vows with the Sisters of the Little Schools and was now able to begin the true journey God was calling her on. Keeping her promise to St. Anne, Sister Marie Elizabeth was ready to teach those who couldn't necessarily afford an education. What she wasn't ready for was the Bishop of Romoski to approach her and ask that she lead a small new community of teachers. Could she take on such a difficult and huge responsibility when her health was in the air? Or was this possibly what God had been preparing her for throughout her young adult life? She eventually accepted the invitation and became known as the founder of the Sisters of Our Lady of the Rosary and began teaching the poor children of the surrounding countryside. As she took on more responsibilities with the order, she began to slip in her health once again. Medics were called to her bedside more often than not, and eventually became bedridden and was given the anointing of the sick. It was on the feast day of the Assumption of Mary that she gathered the professed members and arranged the details for her passing. Two days later, the Mother Superior took her final breath. Despite her lack of health throughout her life, Sister Marie Elizabeth served her community and sisters with a strong heart. Her passion for teaching drove her to give all that she had for God's children. She was given nili obstat, Latin for nothing hinders. Shortly after her death, her case of sainthood was opened and she was beatified by Pope Francis in 2015 for her virtuous life. May our hearts of service not be discouraged by our own limitations, just as Blessed Marie Elizabeth didn't allow her illness to stop her from teaching those in need. Blessed Marie Elizabeth Turgeon, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is a three-minute daily show that unpacks the lives of the saints with practical messages for everyday life.